six, seven years ago now. Essentially, we basically said, you know, academia does wonderfully innovative things, but nothing really happens. Papers come out. What we started to develop was a vision for the future, a startup in the midst of the world's greatest academic environment that would do high-risk research, that would take chances, and it would have impact on the real world in the near term and within five years, we would actually leverage biological principles to develop new engineering innovations. That really energized a new approach. We looked around at each other and we realized that we couldn't see having near-term impact unless we brought full force to bear. Cell biologists, physiologists, toxicologists, mechanical engineers, software engineers. It's a never-ending river of ideas, technologies, concepts. Take people with industry experience, plus these tremendous faculty, plus the incredibly bright postdocs and the like, and put them all together with a common problem. Essentially, we were uncovering an incredible amount about how nature builds, controls, and manufactures from the bottom up, from the nanoscale up. We took idea from brittle stars that change their color due to the movement of the liquid, and we created a new technology based on that. We are focused on printing three-dimensional living tissues that perform just like a normal living tissue would have. We would like to build a swarm of robotic bees for the possibility of search and rescue, hazardous environments, and perhaps some agricultural assistance. We're trying to develop technologies that are inspired by nature. Yeah, I think everybody's really excited about showing that they can use their creativity, they can make the world a better place. We at the VIS have developed a new way to diagnose bloodstream infections. The potential of this is enormous. We could save millions of lives. So in the long term, we see synthetic biology to do everything at the nanoscale to see where the boundaries of cancer are. Our goal is to try and replicate human organ level function and put your own cells on this chip. Our vaccine technology has the potential to revolutionize the way cancer is treated in general. It's exciting to work together to solve a really big challenge. Those collaborations were very, very important. The VIS has a culture where we're allowed to take risks. Say, well, why didn't that work? How can we fix it? And very quickly do what might take years somewhere else in a few months. It's far beyond what I expected. I thought we'd have one or two big hits where we have hit sort of all across the board. And they keep coming and coming and coming. The success that we have in moving companies out and projects out will give us vitality by allowing us to start anew. And in starting anew today, looking ahead for the next five years. There's an opportunity to put people together in a new way of thinking. So thanks for what you've done, thanks for the terrific work, and keep going.